do 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 Josh's order corner. What a bummer it is to start this video off like this, but I'm I'm going to. Today is February twenty eighth. I don't know exactly when this video will drop. Sometime in the next couple weeks. Uh, but right when I got this, um, UPS knocked at the door, came downstairs, and I started to get ready to record it, uh, and I saw a post from Mental Authentics that Rico Browning had passed away. Rico Browning is a legend in horror. I mean, he is the, he was the last surviving member of the actors who portrayed the original Universal Monsters. So, he was 93 years old. I haven't seen detail as to how he passed. Um, and it looks like Wikipedia just updated saying that he passed actually on the 27th. So it's one thing I will say is the details like that I've never viewed as something that are any of my business. But out of respect for him, I wanted to mention that in this video and just kind of go through some of the things that he played in. Uh, as an actor and a stuntman, 1954, Creature from the Black Lagoon, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 55, Revenge of the Creature, 56, The Creature Walks Among Us, 64, Flipper's New Adventure. A little switch on genres there. As a director, writer, stunt coordinator, 1963, Flipper, 65, Thunderbolt. 66, Around the World Under the Sea, 67, Island of the Lost, 69, Hello Down There, 73, Salty, 78, Mr. No Legs, 79, Hot Stuff, 1980, Caddyshack, 80, Rays of the Titanic, um, Island Claws, 81, Nobody's Perfect, 83, Never Say Never Again, 85, The Heavenly Kid, 86, Opposing Force, 88, Police Academy 5, Assignment, Miami Beach, on television as an actor and a stuntman. Uh, 58 to 61, Sea Hunt. 60 to 61, The Aquanauts. 64 to 67, Flipper. And again, as a director, Sea Hunt and Flipper. So, a career that is legendary. Rest in peace, Rico Browning. Now, the other thing that's interesting is this piece that I got. Uh, I purchased because I didn't have him in my collection, and he had passed away. Um, there are some amazing pieces I've seen out there, but I took a risk on this one and I got it from the Zobi uh, quality control sale. So Zobi will hold on to certain pieces that they get in and if they're like dinged, damaged, dented, stuff like that, and have a big sale that is always a hit. People come in and snag up all the pieces from it as quickly as humanly possible. Got our Zobi sticker. A little thank you card. Zobi appreciates your business. If you have any questions or any issues with your order, please do not hesitate to contact us. A phone number and email address. Uh, so yes, this is a damaged item. Um, I've done QA sales from in the past. I honestly don't remember what I got. Uh, it was a Children of the Corn piece. So I do remember. I lied. Um, this isn't that bad. But this piece, I believe it was $40. Um, plus I used Amp 10. And you know what? The picture of it, I feel like, did it a great injustice. It looked like it was a bit more beat up than it appears to be in real life. So I'm going to actually take it out of here. I was amazed that this was left over. Uh, I forgot about the sale, which is good because I was trying not to buy things, which you'll call me a liar when you see how many videos I'm uploading, uploading lately. But JSA certified has a bend right there. You can see Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, Joseph Turkle, who played Lloyd. I really wanted him in my collection and there's still a piece from CSR collectibles that I, I will probably end up snagging um, it has a nice inscription to it but Joe here uh, 1927 to 2022 
character actor who starred in Golden Age era, so 50s to 60s, and then he was in The Shining. Um, he was also in Blade Runner. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Obviously, you can always go to Wikipedia, so I don't have to read it to you. But his filmography is insane. There is so much going on in here. Um, Lucky Losers, Triple Trouble, I'm just going to name a few random ones, Gypsy Colt, Bamboo Prison, Bo James, House of Numbers, Purple Gang, Portrait of a Mobster, Combat, Devil's Eight, Prisoner of Second Avenue, Hindenburg, The Shining, Blade Runner, Dark Side of the Moon, Blade Runner 97. Amazing career, and again, a legendary actor. Uh, died at 94 years of age from liver failure. So, kind of eerie to get this the same day as Rico Browning's passing. Um, but, like I said, when I saw this, I could not pass it up. Um, so, yeah. I was never one to really think much about celebrity death to be honest with you. Uh, I was kind of a dick about it. Uh, there are people, there are people that I don't know, uh, and putting them up on a pedestal always seemed weird. And then I got into collecting and I started seeing like how much joy these people can bring to, to us as collectors. So it is definitely a sad day uh, to see that Rico Browning had passed away. I had a piece signed by him, and unfortunately, I um, traded it to someone, and I regret that now. Just for my personal collection, not to flip it. Don't be a flipper. Wait a while before you decide to jack up that price and sell it. And until next time, shine on, I guess. I don't know. Put some kind of inspirational quote here.